Hi, in this video I'm going to uh, teach you how to use a doc string, which is a step argument in uh, the complete course of Cucumber Gherkin for Java. Coming up! Hey, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle, a certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of craftofprogramming.com. The craftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science topics, programming languages and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell so that you are informed every time I publish regular content. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's lesson. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the second um, way of passing arguments onto your uh, step definitions, which is called doc strings. So doc string is basically a block of text and it's just basically a string which is a broken typically in um, with new lines okay so let's do something similar to what we did here uh, for uh, the um, you know uh, data table in this case simple example with a you know doc string okay and again let's do something very similar let's um, you know initialize our library empty ie without any books preloaded okay and what I want to do here is I want to introduce the concept of a doc string so given that my library is initialized empty and um, the following instead of table let's call list of books okay and how is a doc string um, you know what is the syntax you basically use triple quotes right and any text that is here, right? Um, you know, my name and so on, every kind. You can write anything that you want, you know, as large as you want. This is basically every text that is here is a block of text that is going to be passed onto your Cucumber step definition as a string, okay? Uh, instead of using triple quotes, oh, by the way, you can use your indentation as well, okay? So this indentation inside the block string is significant, this number of columns, and, um, and that's it. So you can, instead of using triple quotes, you could use uh, backtick. That will be equivalent if I were to define my block string like that, okay? That's equivalent. But let's stick with, the, um, with using the triple quotes, all right? So that's how you define a block string. And just like the um, data table, um, they are implicitly passed onto your step definition without you needing an explicit, you know, uh, cucumber um, expression argument. All right. Okay. So let's do something similar. Just like in the previous example where we created a table to pass this list of books or table of books onto our test, and then we did a simple assertion. What I want to do this time is I want to pass it by using instead of a data table, I want to use a um, a doc string okay but remember that what I'm passing is not a list of strings it's just one simple string one simple blob of text let's say that you know I have my I wrote book one now here I'm gonna do a book you know uh, three for example let me separate the parameters using commas again 2020 whatever Cassandra wrote this book and the second would be the second row would be book four okay which has, I don't know, 300, it's a novel, was again, uh, and wrote by Miranda. Okay, so that's how you define a doc string, and obviously we want the book three here, and this one is book four, which is a novel. Okay, same thing. So let's implement this step inside our um, basic step definition step argument okay and as i said just like before uh, you do not need a argument uh, cucumbers expression argument it's implicitly passed uh, just like before we're just gonna expect to get a list of books here right 
and the implementation is going to be exactly the same thing right we're just going to add whatever we get from here onto a library and then we're going to assert using this predefined uh, pre-implemented step definitions okay just like a data table right we had a list of books somehow we need to tell cucumber how to convert this string this doc string onto a book okay so we can use annotations just like before and instead of using a data table type what we use is a doc string type okay a doc string type contains a an attribute called content type which you can use to um to basically define the type that you are passing you know here so for example i can say that this is a um uh, you know a list of books for example okay and now let me write my method which um, is going to return me a list of books define uh, let's call it um, book definition with doc string and obviously as i said my int my input uh parameter is um oh, well, whatever let's call it doc string okay so now let's see what's happening here why do i need this content type so this content type you would um, write on the first line without spaces of your doc string right so if you're using the back tick it would be the same thing you'd write back tick and you'd put it there okay so same thing you write this list of books there now what does that do it tells cucumber that this doc string right has the type right the content of this is a list of books so it uses this list of books it searches within your class pass of your glue for doc strings whose content type value matches that and then it's going to use this method to basically do the conversion from a string onto whatever you want it to be in this case it's a list of books because this doc string contains a list of books okay notice that this is slightly different than the data table in that the data table uh, factory method was returning us a book whereas here uh, you know we have a single blob a single string that's going to return us a um, a list of books okay so for example if you had another scenario right for instance that um, had another say you know something else for example list of orders just for the heck of it and you would have here you know you know order one you know and whatever you know id 42 and so on order two for example right so what you would do is you would define another doc string okay again not necessarily on the same class and you would uh, flag the content or tag this uh, factory method with um you know with the content type matching that and it would return you obviously a list of orders if you had that in your domain object okay so that's just to illustrate what is the point of using the content type so now let's implement our factory method that creates a list of books from a doc string so obviously we need to return here our book books that's what we're going to be returning so now let's create an arrays um stream from our um doc string that we're going to split by new line okay so basically uh remember this doc string is coming from here each row is has a new line character so what i'm doing is i'm splitting it and when i split what i have here is you know it's it's a string for each book it's basically string csv and uh, for each entry okay what i'm going to do is this entry i'm going to further split it you know by comma okay let's assign it the splits and then what i'm going to do obviously is i'm going to add to my books a new book okay and just like before so we know that the book is basically you know uh, the first entry is a title which is a string so let's just stream it and let's just do that and the second element as you know is um, the uh, number of pages that i'm parsing here the third is the topic value of obviously we need index 2 then it's year topic it's the year um, 
and then I've got the last one is just the um, authors. Okay, I obviously don't need a comma. Let's format that. Okay, so let's run this and make sure that it works. And as you can see, the test passes. Okay, so to note here again, what is important is that um, you need to provide a if you are using a list of books, right, for your uh, doc string. Okay then you would have to just like you did for a data table you would have to provide a factory method that converts your doc string onto you know your list of books that you want and uh, we use the content type list of books to basically tag uh, you know a flag to cucumber that this is the mapping that we need for that particular doc string ciao ciao